Hey Shutterbugs, welcome back to channel, the go-to destination for all things photography. Today we're diving into the exciting world of DSLRs and uncovering the best options for beginners in 2024. Whether you're a budding photographer or just stepping into the realm of digital imaging, we've got you covered. Before we jump in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out on our latest camera reviews and photography tips. Now, let's get started. Number 5. Canon EOS 90D Begin your photographic adventure with the Canon EOS 90D, a cutting-edge DSLR built for both beginners and enthusiasts. This camera, which will be released in 2024, smoothly integrates user-friendly features with advanced capabilities, making it a great choice for individuals just starting out in digital photography. The EOS 90D has a 32.5 megapixel APS-T sensor, which produces incredibly detailed photographs. Whether you're exploring landscapes, portraits, or action photos, the 90D captures brilliant colors and intricate details with every click. Powered by Canon's DIGIC9 image processor, the 90D ensures quick performance and great image quality. This processor improves entire camera responsiveness, from fast autofocus to low light shooting. With 45 cross type AF points, the camera enables precise and speedy autofocus even in adverse settings. The EOS 90D produces sharp results whether you're capturing moving subjects or experimenting with selective focus. The EOS 90D enables you to communicate fascinating visual stories with exceptional clarity and depth. The 3 inch vari angle touchscreen simplifies framing photos. Tilt and rotate the screen to get the best angle for your compositions, and use the intuitive touch interface to simply move through menus. Simply share your works with the built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. Transfer photographs to your mobile device, remotely manage the camera, or instantly upload to social media sites. Capture more memories without the need for regular recharging. The enhanced battery life of the EOS 90D allows you to shoot for longer lengths of time, whether you're on a day-long trip or a weekend photography vacation. Number 4. Canon EOS Rebel SL3 Canon's entry-level SL series includes the Canon EOS Rebel SL3, which is tiny and lightweight. It's also one of the greatest low-cost DSLRs we've reviewed. It's a well-rounded camera for the money, with fork video capability, rapid burst shooting, and a strong autofocus mechanism. It lacks the build quality of the Nikon D5600 and has fewer physical controls than the Canon EOS Rebel T8i. That's not bad for beginners, but it may seem a little restricting if you start shooting in manual mode. Otherwise, it shares many similarities with the Rebel, including as a comparable sensor, a fully articulated touchscreen, and an easy-to-use menu system. Finally, this is a terrific little camera that won't break the bank and is light enough that you'll want to bring it everywhere with you. The Canon EOS Rebel SL3 is a small and simple APS CDSL camera. It produces reasonably sharp photos, has an adequate autofocus system, and a quick, fully articulated touchscreen interface. It can shoot 4 and FHD video and has a variety of ports and networking choices for videographers. Unfortunately, the general image and video stabilization performance isn't particularly outstanding, so you might need to use a tripod for some images and the video quality in 4K is average. The Canon SL3 performs admirably in landscape photography. Even at moderately high ISO settings, it keeps image noise and greenness to a minimum. Its completely articulated screen is visible in direct sunlight. While it's pretty tiny for a standard DSLR, individuals used to taking photos with point and shoots or phones may find it a touch cumbersome and difficult to carry on a trek. For trip photography, the Canon SL3 is adequate. It boasts a good overall image quality, an ergonomic design, and an autofocus technology that is good for tracking moving objects. It also has an excellent battery life for photographs, which may last for several days on a single charge depending on how you use it. However, its plastic construction does not feel very strong, and the camera is larger than mirrorless options. For sports and wildlife photography, the Canon SL3 is adequate. It features a relatively fast maximum shutter speed and good image quality. Its autofocus technology is adequate and does an excellent job of tracking inanimate things, such as vehicles on a racetrack. However, its relatively sluggish continuous shooting speed can make capturing particular photos of fast-moving subjects more difficult. 
Its silent shooting auction is also rather loud, which may frighten surrounding wildlife. The Canon SL3 is suitable for vlogging. Its completely articulated screen allows you to monitor yourself on camera, but isn't the ideal choice for recording in 4 because to poor face tracking, poor picture stabilization, and inferior video quality in this resolution, as the film lacks detail and appears grainy. Number 3 Nikon D5600 The Nikon D5600 is an APS-C ESL camera with built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capability. So you can download photographs to your smartphone using the Nikon SnapBridge app or use your phone as a camera remote. It produces clear, detailed photographs even at high ISO settings and is easy to operate. Its photo-focusing technology is also capable of tracking moving subjects. The Nikon D5600 is an excellent landscape camera. It's easy to operate and its high image quality results in photos that are clear and detailed. In intense sunshine, its screen may be difficult to read. The camera itself is fairly bulky, and due to its plastic composition, it does not have the most spectacular build. The Nikon D5600 is an excellent travel camera. Even at high ISO levels, photos are clean and detailed, and the camera's wide shutter speed range allows you to snap clear images of fast-moving subjects or long exposure shots of a starry night sky. Its autofocus mechanism performs a good job of following moving subjects and maintaining focus. However, its hefty design makes it less portable. The Nikon D5600 is adequate for wildlife and sports photography. It has excellent image quality and its rapid maximum shutter speed allows you to snap keen images of fast-moving subjects. Its autofocus mechanism performs a good job of following moving subjects and maintaining focus. Unfortunately, with a maximum shooting speed of only 5 shots per second, it is not ideal for burst photography. It also has a noisy shutter function, even when in silent mode, which may scare away animals. The Nikon D5600 is ineffective for studio video. Its FHD video quality is mediocre, resulting in footage that isn't particularly sharp or detailed. Its video autofocus mechanism also fails to track and maintain focus on moving subjects. This camera also does not support fork video recording. It features some accessory inputs, including a microphone jack, but no input for headphones. The Nikon D5600 is not intended for action videography. It's too large to be put on a chest or helmet rig, and it lacks promised weather resistance, but we don't currently test for it. Number 2 Canon EOS Rebel T8i We found the Canon EOS Rebel T8i to be the finest DSLR camera for beginners. It contains everything you might desire in a starter camera and then some, making it an excellent choice for a newbie photographer. It's compatible with all of Canon's EF and EFS lenses, so there are plenty of alternatives, including many affordable ones. And unlike some of our other recommendations below, this is one of the few entry-level DSLRs that can record fork video. Though it can't compete with modern mirrorless cameras, the T8A's autofocus technology is one of the most advanced of any camera on this list. This, along with a relatively fast burst rate, makes the T8I a well-rounded option, allowing you to shoot both fast subjects like sports and wildlife and slower subjects like portraits and landscapes. The Canon EOS Rebel T8I is a straightforward APS-T ESL camera. It produces high-quality images even in low-light situations and boasts an autofocus technology that excels at tracking faces and objects during still shooting. It's also very comfortable to use, with a bright, fully articulated screen that's easy to view even in broad sunshine. Unfortunately, it's fairly large, and the video recording quality in 4K and f 8 isn't particularly outstanding. The Canon EOS Rebel T8i is not intended for action videography. It's too huge to fit on a helmet or chest gear, and it doesn't have any high speed frame rate settings in 4K or FHD for smooth slow motion video. Number 1 Nikon D3500 For people who are absolutely new to photography, the Nikon D3500 is the finest beginner DSLR camera. It's inexpensive, lightweight, and features a straightforward user interface, making it an easy transition from your smartphone. There aren't many bells and whistles here such as fork video capability or a flip-out screen, but the interactive guide shooting mode makes it a suitable pick for beginners. The guide mode, which is built right into the mode dial, teaches you through the fundamentals of photography as you shoot. 
It's not as beneficial as having a photography instructor show you the ropes, but it's the next best thing. Despite its target audience, the Nikon D3500 has a sensor on par with the Nikon D5600 above, recording great overall image quality. Guys, that concludes our top 5 best DSLR for beginners of 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.